Hello again, friends. Alex Lyon here. In today's communication breakdown, we're going to be looking at Kathy Griffin's recent apology. She's a comedian, and in one of her social media posts, she put up some pictures of her holding the severed head of the president, and it was all covered in fake blood. Obviously, this was not real, but she got criticized for it loudly and swiftly on social media. She went on later that day and apologized. And I want to look at this apology specifically. So my point here is not to make fun of her and say she should not have done this. I want to examine the quality of this apology because a lot of people are saying it's fake and insincere, and I want to unpack why that is. So let's look at this 31-second apology in its entirety, and then I will give my takeaways. Hey everybody, it's me, Kathy Griffin. I sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic, I cross the line, I move the line, then I cross it, I went way too far. The image is too disturbing, I understand how it offends people, it wasn't funny, I get it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career, I will continue. I asked your forgiveness, taking down the image, gonna ask the photographer to take down the image, and I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far, I made a mistake, and I was wrong. My overall advice for Kathy is advice that a friend recently gave me. He said, Alex, if you're going to eat humble pie, don't nibble, take big bites and eat the whole thing. So first, I want to give her some credit for doing some things well, and then I wanna talk about what she could have done a little bit better. So first of all, let's give her some credit for apologizing in the first place. She said a lot of the right words. She said, I sincerely apologize. She asked for forgiveness. She said she went too far. She talks about making mistakes and being wrong. Those are all pretty good words. Second, she was timely. She did this right away. A lot of people go on hiding after they do something like this, and she went right out there and faced the music. Third, she took what William Benoit, a researcher, calls corrective action. This is where in an image restoration situation, you try to fix the issues that you can. And she talks about taking the image down and asking the photographer to do so. So she does get some credit. So why is it that so many people think this sounds fake and insincere? To me, it sounds like she's sorry she got in trouble. It does not sound like she's sorry she did it in the first place. So I want to recommend a few improvements for Kathy. If we could go back Back in time and redo this video before posting it, here's what I would suggest. First, Griffin needs to work on her eye contact. In a very short video, she's making pretty poor eye contact. She has this long, slow blink that she does. She rolls her eyes a little bit. There's another YouTube channel called Bombard's Body Language, and she does an excellent job looking at the micro moments of this eye contact and how it suggests to Bombard that Griffin's here is being insincere and that she's being deceptive. I can't go that far. That's out of my area of expertise, but minimally, she's making pretty poor eye contact for a very short video. Second, her pacing is all off for an apology situation. The average person speaks about 120 words a minute. Professional audiobook readers read at 150 words a minute. Professional auctioneers speak at 250 words and more a minute. And Griffin is coming in at over 200 words a minute. In a very short 31-second video, she says over 104 words words. That is a blistering pace and it is hard to sound sincere when you're rushing through your message. Next, Griffin has this weird head nod at the end of the message. Like, again, she's just rushing through this like, okay, you happy? I apologize. I'm done. That's probably not the way you want an end an apology. And lastly, even though she does use a lot of the right words, some of her word choice and the way she expresses herself sounds like it's coming out of a place of fear and panic, not genuine remorse. She talks about the reaction that she's getting, how she's begging for forgiveness. She sounds like she's in damage control mode, not in sincere apology mode. So if I saw a draft of this video before she posted, I would say, you know what, let's do this a couple more times. Let's really internalize this apology so that you feel it before you say it. And I think she would fix those issues. So that's my breakdown. I'm very interested in your opinions, however. What do you think of this apology? I would love to hear your comments below. So thanks, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.